Let's talk about the flu. But first, let's clarify. The flu is not a cold or the stomach flu. You might have heard about the swine flu or the bird flu or H1N1, H3N2, and a whole pile of other names. But what does it all mean? The flu is a viral illness that can range from mild to severe and is usually transmitted through coughing <coughs> or sneezing, <laughs> which spreads droplets carrying this, the influenza virus. Three types of flu viruses can infect humans, A, B, and C. A viruses are divided into subtypes, with some infecting humans and others infecting animals such as pigs and birds. These viruses are named after their eteroprotein spikes, called hemagglutinin and neuraminidase, better known as the H's and the N's. These structures play an important role in virus infection. When these viruses make their way into your nose, throat, or lungs, the virus wants to replicate itself, but can only do that within a cell. To do this, the H proteins bind onto sialic acid sugars that are found on the surface of the epithelial cells that line your respiratory tract. The virus is engulfed into the cell where it releases all of its genetic material to be replicated and create new viruses. The newly made viral proteins then use the cell's membrane to butt off and form new viruses, which are released from sialic acid with the help of the end spike. After virus release, the host cell dies. As this infection takes over your cells and your immune system responds, you experience symptoms like fever, cough, aches, and chills. Now let's say this sphere represents you. Maybe you're able to fight off the flu just fine, but as a carrier, you risk infecting people around you, such as those who can't fight the flu. As the disease spreads, those who are vulnerable risk developing severe or even fatal complications. In fact, every year, a few thousand Canadians die from flu-related complications. The best mode of protection? The flu shot, which is produced using three or four strains of influenza predicted to be in circulation that year. These vaccines use inactivated or weakened flu viruses that don't cause disease, but which trick your body into making antibodies. When a vaccinated person catches the flu, these antibodies bind to hemagglutinin and prevent the viruses from infecting your cells. In fact, having many people vaccinated in a community creates herd immunity, which helps protect those unable to get the vaccine and helps prevent widespread outbreak. But one vaccination does not make you forever invincible to the flu. Because flu viruses are constantly changing, which can happen in one of two ways, antigenic shift and antigenic drift. Antigenic drift results from continual changes that modify the H proteins until eventually your immune system no longer recognizes the virus. Antigenic shift is less common and occurs when two different strains infect a cell at the same time, causing a rapid genetic reassortment that generates an entirely new strain of virus. This virus can spread uncontrollably and lead to a pandemic. While pandemics are rare, remember that your best method of protection against seasonal influenza is to just get the flu shot.